Welcome to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. I have a question for you this morning. There's a lot of misinformation and disinformation about what's going to happen when Jesus comes back. So I have a question for you. What's going to happen when Christ comes back? What it's going to be like? And who's going to be going to heaven and who's going to be going to hell? And does Jesus ever say anything about that? And did John the Baptist say anything about that? Well, (laughs) I'm glad you asked. Because here's what John the Baptist says in Matthew chapter 3, verse 12. And I'll take this apart. It says this, his winnowing fork, namely Jesus, winnowing fork is in his hand. And he will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the barn. But the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. Now, what in the world Is John the Baptist talking about here? What kind of comparison is he making? Well, he's giving a a very powerful illustration of what happens with farmers. What farmers would do is they, they gather the wheat with the chaff, and the chaff was like the shell that goes around the grain of the wheat. They'd get the the chaff and the wheat, and the chaff was connected to the wheat, and put it on what they called a threshing floor. And on the threshing floor, these animals, whether it was a, a cow or maybe a donkey would go in a circle and with their feet would crunch on the wheat and the chaff, okay? And the chaff then would be loosened, but not fully detached, loosened from the wheat. And after the animal did that for a while, this is what the farmer did. He would go in there and he'd gather the wheat and the chaff together. And usually the threshing floor was on top of a hill where the wind would blow. And so he'd take his fork, it was called a winnowing fork, like a pitchfork, and he would grab the wheat with the chaff, throw it up in the air. And because the chaff was loosely, because the animals had crumpled it, loosely connected to the wheat, the chaff would blow off to the side and the wheat, the grain, which is heavier, would fall to the floor. Then he'd take the 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 grain of the wheat, and he'd bind it together and put it in his barn. And what did he do with the chaff that had blown off to the side? He'd gather that together, listen to this, and he'd burn it. (laughs) Okay, now, John the Baptist is comparing that to the second coming of Jesus. What's the chaff? The chaff are those who have not repented of their sin and put their trust in Jesus. And because they've not repented of their sin and put their trust in Jesus, their sin remains. And when Christ comes back, he's going to see their sin. And because their sin will condemn them, they'll be totally separated from God. They'll be cast into hell where there's unquenchable, never-ending fire. Not good. But what's the wheat? The wheat are those who have trusted in Jesus. The wheat are those who have said, I'm sorry for my sins, and I believe that Jesus died and rose again for me. Then their sins are forgiven. Christ comes back. He won't see their sin. He'll see the righteousness, purity, and holiness of what he's done, which they have embraced by faith in Christ. They'll be raised up. They'll have new bodies. Jesus will declare them not guilty because what he did for them Through his suffering and death and resurrection, their sins will be washed away, and those people will be ushered to the presence of God where sickness, suffering, and death is known no more. This is what's going to happen on Judgment Day. Here's the thing, folks. There's not going to be a second chance for people to put their trust in Jesus who don't trust in him now. It's not like somebody is an unbeliever now, and then when Christ comes back, all of a sudden they look up towards heaven and they say, oh, now I believe. No, 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 no. It's too late then. As a matter of fact, the Bible says it's appointed a man once to die and then the judgment. So judgment day actually occurs the day a person dies. And if they have faith in Christ, The judgment upon their life is not guilty. If they don't have faith in Christ, the judgment upon their life is guilty as charged, right? And so that's the declaration that John the Baptist is trying to give us today. Now, here's the point. What do you do with that? Well, you keep feeding your faith. You make sure you go to church, you hear the word of God, watch daily truths, continue to feed your faith so that when Christ comes back, you're ready The only thing that disbars us or separates us from God on Judgment Day is unbelief. So you want to make sure your faith is fed and your faith is strong. And so that when Christ comes back, you say, yep, I'm ready. I believe in Jesus. I know he's going to take me home. And you can be assured of that beyond the shadow of a doubt. But what about people that don't know Christ? What do we do with them? Well, we look for opportunities to share our faith as much as possible with them. We pray for them. 
We say, Lord, open the door for me to testify of your grace and mercy, because the reality is a lot of people believe there's a real heaven. Not many people believe there's a real hell. What John the Baptist is teaching us is here. There is a real heaven. There is a real hell. And real people without faith in Jesus go there. That's a frightening thought. So look for opportunities to share your faith with people that don't know Christ. And that is today's Daily Truth. Have a great day in Christ. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Truths with Dave Allman. If this ministry is blessing you, please consider supporting us by sharing this channel with a friend. You can also like, comment, subscribe, or leave a review. This helps us tremendously. Come back tomorrow for your next Daily Truth.